Hello everyone. This is the ninth part of the course operating system and the topic that we will be covering today is signal handling. So now the question is what kind of signals are these? These are no Wi-Fi signals or the traffic signals. So they are actually a totally different kind of signals. So let's take an example. I think you all must have encountered a situation in your life while programming in Linux that for some reason your terminal hanged. Something happened and your terminal hanged and maybe it was because of something something that went wrong in your code or because of an infinite loop. So whatever the reason was, when the terminal hanged, you must have pressed the two keys, control C or control Z. And those two keys would have saved your life and would have stopped uh, whatever happened and um, stopped the hang state of your terminal. Now the question is, what happened when you pressed those two keys, control and Z? What happened? How come they solved your problem? How did they take you out of uh, that situation? So this lab is all about that story. And it is the easiest lab of this entire course and very interesting lab. I hope you will learn and enjoy while learning. Now the question, first question becomes, what is a signal? So signal is the way of communication between the kernel and the process. It is sent from the kernel to the process. Now let's see a more, more formal definition. Signal is a way of communication between process and the operating system. A signal is generated by the kernel when a process undergoes some issue. The signal generates is generated by the kernel and it notifies the process of any particular event. And it depends upon the process whether this process wants to handle the signal, ignore the signal or block it. So the process can do either of these things. It can ignore, it can block or it can handle the signal. What happens when a signal is sent? So when a signal is sent, operating system interrupts the normal flow of execution of the program. What does that mean? We saw this in the previous lecture. This is some piece of code and these are some lines, code lines. This is your process and it's running from top to bottom. So maybe when the signal came, it came at this particular point in the program. The program was at this particular line. So what will happen is, if this process handled the signal, whatever has to happen will happen at this particular line. And then the program will resume later on. But if this process ignored or blocked the signal, nothing will happen. The program will execute normally. Okay. So if that process has registered a custom signal handler, then that is executed. Otherwise, a default signal handler is executed. What does that mean? What is a custom signal handler? Actually, we will write a function and we will call it our custom signal handler. So if we have defined that function and we have registered that function with the kernel as our signal handler. So whenever that particular signal came, this uh, custom signal handler will be executed. If we have not written it or registered it, then the default signal handler will be executed. This is exactly the same thing which you learn in your object oriented course that if you have made a class and you have made a constructor. So if you have made your own constructor, whenever the object will be created, your constructor will be executed or called. If you have not made your own constructor, then the default constructor will be called. So this is exactly the same scenario. If you have registered and made your own custom signal handler, that will be executed on that particular signal for which you have made this. Otherwise, the default signal handler for that signal will be. Okay, uh, let's see an example of a common signal and I already gave you the example at the start of this lecture that whenever your terminal hangs, you press control Z or control C and that is actually a signal. That is actually a kill signal that is generated that you, uh, you talk to the kernel and you told it that we are in some emergency situation, some something has hanged and just, just take us out of that. So you pressed control Z and then the kernel generated a signal, a kill signal that was sent to your process which was actually hung. 
that time and then process was terminated so that's how your problem was solved